Now, the presidency appears to be intensifying efforts towards resolving the ongoing face-off between it and the National Assembly. As the president is said to be meeting with the Senate President Bokola Saraki in the presidential villa. Earlier on, President Muhammad Buhari had met with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Yakubu Dogara, also behind closed doors. The details of the meetings were not made known, but Mr. Dogara told State House correspondents that it's a routine engagement. He added that the impasse between the legislature and the executive is normal in a democracy and should not be taken seriously. The Senate last week refused to commence the confirmation hearings of 27 resident electoral commissioners recommended by the president, citing the presidency's reluctance to relieve Ibrahim Magu of his job as acting chairman of the EFCC following the rejection of his nomination by the lawmakers. In the meantime, the presidency announced last week that it had set up a committee to meet with the leadership of both chambers of the National Assembly to reach a compromise on the issues. I think there will always be um, issues on, on, on one or two things. It doesn't mean that that's the foundation of it. Has uh, When you have uh, an arm of uh, government that has to do with uh, confirmation, there will always be. I mean, for example, the N is the NDDC we rejected three people in D.C. He did not... Uh, the president has brought the three. We'll start the process. It's, uh, we'll keep on moving. Uh, we're all a part of uh, one government. We all have the interest to make... Uh, and that is why, despite all this, still major decisions have been taken. We, as I said, we did the critical amendment on INEC. And on Tuesday or Wednesday, for the first time in the history of legislation, we're going to lay the report for PIB for consideration. It has never happened. 20 years, PIB has not got to this stage. So... Work is going on. We will continue to go for the interests of Nigeria. Don't let us um, get distracted by one or two infractions. It's bound to happen. I mean, it's. I mean, even the America that we are copying, even today as you are watching, see what's happening on the Supreme Court. It's this is uh, things that happen in the power of democracy. But I can reassure Nigerians, reassure the people, that that is uh, it's just a drop in the uh, uh, in the ocean. It's, it, it is not an issue that will stay the whole place. Be, be rest assured. So Nigerians want to know: is the relationship between the executive and the legislature very cordial? It's cordial. It's good. You cannot examine it by one or two. That's the point I'm making. You cannot examine it based on NDDC or examine it based on EFCC. Or exam we have other issues. We have, as I said, we have ministerials that we're, we're, we're going to be working on. I'm sure the next soon will soon work on. We have the budget that is more important. We have and we have PIB. We have so many things. And I and I think it's a, it's, it's a mixture of all that that you should guide us. And uh, don't let us um, over overheat on some of these issues because they're bad.